Good morning, this is Neil Son Dynasty. Buy some silver, some platinum, be helpful, kind, and grateful. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, a couple days ago, I did a video on the Russian Supreme Court calling the Azov Battalion of Ukraine a terrorist organization and putting all of the prisoners they have up for, uh, you know, to be shot dead, right? And, you know, that's the BRICS nations all agreed. They followed Russia. And I was like, hmm, is this going to be a trend? All the BRICS nations following the Russian Supreme Court. And I'm like, okay. Well, we're fixing to find out, I think. Because uh, South Africa, for which I report to you guys, that is one of the two main miners of platinum, for which I very much like, love, uh is now experiencing some problems, and uh, it's part of the BRICS nation thing. And I'm wondering how extreme they're going to get. But anyhow, uh, give you a little show here. Women in South Africa has sparked mass violence in the country. Almost about 84 people have been arrested and have appeared before the court this week. In the latest, protests have also broken out in the country, and women's rights activists. Are Sorry about that. Increased gender violence in South Africa. The eight victims were raped when they were on a music video shoot near a mine dump in Kugelsdorf, a small town west of Johannesburg. A gang of gunmen then attacked the cast of this group while they were preparing the set. The police blamed illegal immigrants who worked in the mines, while all suspects were arrested and put on trial. None has been charged. A group of protesters gathered outside of the court demanding swift justice as agitation or the mass rapist intense fight. There are also angry protesters who are hunting down illegal miners, sealing makeshift shafts and also burning down homes. The police have retaliated by firing stun grenades from a helicopter to try and disperse the crowd. Okay. Interesting here. The people of the town, or the towns in the area, are taking law into their own hands and now the South African government is going against their own people allowing these outsiders who come in to commit, to commit crimes kind of like how our country here in America is allowing all these people from South America to come through and I'm sure they're all halo wearing Christian people who never do any harm but if I look at the MS-13 and N-14 beat group of gangs coming out of there in tattooed faces with their teardrops, I'm pretty damn sure, along with the six Marines that tried to smuggle in a freaking sniper to kill the president, I'm pretty sure we have a lot of crap coming through our borders too. And, you know, maybe we need to start taking the law into our own hands because our government's the one encouraging lawbreakers to come here. Just a thought. It's not. I'm not saying do it. I'm just saying... It's happening in a BRICS nation where Russia is in control and Russian law. And they're pretty severe. And, and this is happening. So just imagine how severe it's going to get here is my perspective that I'm saying. I'm not saying do it by any means. You guys have a good evening.